Thank you for joining us for our video today. We're going to cover how to locate Logix data someplace other than the default location. Normally it installs on your C drive along with the program. Wherever you install the program, uh, you have choice on that. By default, it's program files x86 and then a subfolder in there called Logic. Uh, but wherever you install Logic, it's going to put data as, the data as a subfolder for that. There are reasons that you may want to change that. For instance, if you have more than one log, if you have one for a family member, uh, separate log, or if you're on a de-expedition, you don't want to commingle your two, uh, your de-expedition and your home log, you would create a second log for that. This is covered in Logic's help. I look for networking in multiple databases. So if you prefer uh, you know, something that doesn't move and easier to look at, uh, you can go there. Also on our forum, logic support under frequently asked questions and under installation and upgrading, how do, I, how do I create a new database? There's a little bit more there and you can ask questions and so forth if you want to do that. I will mention here, though, I get this question, still get it quite a bit. Uh, if you're working a contest, you do not set up a separate log for that. Logic keeps the contest data in the same uh, main log as the rest of your QSOs. So if you're contesting, you don't need to worry about that. It knows how to keep track of those. Um, but the reason that most of you will probably want to put your log data someplace else is to put it on the cloud someplace. So you can put your log data on Google Drive or OneDrive or probably Dropbox you could do the same thing with and that way your data is automatically backed up all the time to the cloud and if you want to operate remotely say you have two stations and maybe one at home and one while you're on the road uh, they can both access that cloud data and uh, it'll just be totally transparent to you Okay, so first of all, let's go ahead and take a little look at how Logic handles uh, how the data is, you know, where the data is stored. Let's just look at the factory default installation. I go to Tools Advanced. Uh, let me move this up here so you can do it. Tools, so you can see it. Advanced and uh, Path and File Info. Okay, and right there it tells that Logic's looking at a subfolder inside of wherever it's installed called data, or called log data. If it doesn't find data there, it looks in log data and finally in images. And right here we can see some key files uh, for Logic. You can see that uh, log DBF is in program files x86, Logic, log data, and log DBF. Okay, that's the default uh, installation. Let's take and send that over to Google, or let's let's do a Microsoft OneDrive. So I open, you know, this PC, or you can go down on the um, taskbar on Windows 10, and uh, you know you can get to it this way. Just open any window that shows where Logic's. Um, in a little pane over to the left here that shows off your drives and libraries and stuff. Okay, we go to OneDrive. Let me open that. And all right, let me just delete this and start. So I'll start from scratch. Okay. Um, so here I have, let me make the icons view, small icons. Okay. Uh, let's go details. That's the way I like to look at it. Okay. I'm going to copy the copy Logic's data over here. So I'm just going to go to my Logic shortcut on the desktop, go to Properties, and I go to Open File Location, okay? And there it's opened where Logic's installed. And I go to the Log Data folder, and you see in there is, um, you know, Log DBF and the Bio, and I have my modes that I have set up, um, Spot Alerts, um, telnet, all my telnet set up, everything that's kind of specific to me as a ham and say in a family or in a club operation or something is, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's located here. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to copy this log data folder. I go right click, 
copy. Wait, oh, come on, I don't know where that came from. Copy. Okay, and I go back here to OneDrive. And I paste that. And there I have log data. I could just leave it that, but I'm going to give it a little bit more descriptive um, um, name. And I may also want to... Um, Okay, so I'm going to call it WN4AZY underscore log data. So that way if I want to, say, put um, my wife Faye's data in here, I could do that also. So that way it's pretty clear what, the date, what, what this folder is for. Also, I'm going to make a ham folder inside of OneDrive, okay? Let me put it in alphabetical order. Okay, so there's there's the ham directory that I made. There's my log data. I'm just going to take and drag that up inside of there. Okay, so there I've got I've got my data. Um, now let me tell Logic to use this data. I've just copied, made a, essentially made a backup of my log data folder. I haven't really, um, haven't really told it to, you know, to use this yet. It's just, just a copy of the log data folder is all I've done. Okay, I go here and I go up to the address bar of this window and I copy the, um, right click and copy or control C and I copy the, the, the location there. I go to my um, shortcut, and I can take the properties. And I just go out here and I say data equal. Okay, I put a single quotes there. I don't know if there are no spaces in here. I don't actually need quotes. I wouldn't need quotes since I used an underscore there. But uh, you know, put data equals, and then put the path inside of single quotes. Okay, so see. Right there's logic, then I have the data equals, and then it, uh, let me scroll out there slowly so you can see it. And I just took it, I copied this path here into the shortcut. I say OK. OK, now let me start logic. OK, so you see up here, a little change has happened to logic. It shows me where the log file is located. OK, um, that's where the log DBF is located. So this is a good check. It's going to, you know, this is actually the, the data that I'm using now. I go to Tools Advanced and Database Command, uh, Tools Advanced and and Path and File Info. And uh, you see there we've got the data located someplace else. Okay, if I were to go to another computer now and look at this OneDrive location, I would see the same thing here. It takes it a little bit of time to copy, but uh, I am uh, good to go with that. Okay, now a uh, couple things here to make it uh, a little bit more user friendly. As I'm going to take it, I'm going to rename this icon, the shortcut. I'm going to call it Logic. 9 OneDrive, okay? Okay, so it's that way it does the same thing. It's just clearer as to as to what I'm doing. Okay. Um What uh, has happened to my original data? It's still there. I'll copy and I'll paste um let me make another shortcut. I'm going to rename it. I'm just going to call it Logic 9. I'm going to try to recreate my uh, original icon properties. And here's my, you know, here's the data equals that I put in. I'm just going to delete the rest of that line. So there's just kind of the default uh, icon. And if I wanted another one of those, I could just reinstall the, uh, you know, the, the, the latest update. Or install, you know, the logic again, and it would create a, you know, a default shortcut for me. Let me run that one. Okay, and this one, notice I don't have anything up here on the title bar telling me where it's located. Tools, advanced, uh, 
path and file info, it's just back to the default place. Okay, so this data is totally separate from each other now. I can uh, go to Tools, Miscellaneous Utilities, and let me just zap the log, okay? And proceed, yes, delete. Okay. And there I have an empty log. No QSOs in it. Just, uh, you know, a blank record there. Okay. Let me go back to this one. And you see I've got my, uh, I've got all my QSOs there. And as I've said, if you have another computer that you want to access the same data with, you can set that uh, shortcut up the same way. so that it uh, you know points to the same OneDrive location or the same Google Drive location on another computer and it will access the same data. Okay, this isn't practical for simultaneous access. If you want to um, have two users or more users, like during a contest, uh, share the same database, with different computers, uh, then you would have to set it up over a local area network. It's done just the same way. Uh, just rather than putting in the C drive, you would put in, um, you know, like uh, put it on our business server here. Okay, and you know, there's the path I would use. I want to do, uh, you know, log data or, or ham log data. You know, I would create the same directory structure here set the shortcut up the same way uh, and I'd be good to go in fact let me let me uh, let me do something similar what I'm going to do now is uh, pretend I'm going on a great D expedition okay uh, so I think I want to go to my wife's native country I am just going to go to uh I'll put this on OneDrive as well because I could, you know, put it on the C drive or anywhere. But you know, if if you're off if you're offline, um you can still use your OneDrive folders. Uh it just won't update until you get back online. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm 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 gonna be back in the sticks up in the mountains of the Philippines, up in the boondocks somewhere. But I do want to um uh, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and put it on the drive. When I get back to the airport or whatever, it will go ahead and update, uh, you know, back on the cloud for me and do a backup. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm on OneDrive. I'm in the ham directory. I'm going to new folder. I'm going to put uh, WN4AZY-DU, uh, okay, for the Philippines. Uh I will I need to get a copy of the log data again so I can I could just copy this you know or I could have copied that folder and renamed it I'm going to copy that I'm just going anywhere to get a copy of all of you know to get the structure of all of logic's uh, files that uh, you know data files that I need okay so there I've got it let me make another shortcut I'm going to copy that paste Gonna rename that uh, DU and say it's on OneDrive. I don't need to put copy there anymore. I'll just delete that. Okay. Now I go to run this. Oh, I've got to uh, update my my data equals here. So it's just the same thing, except I'm going to put a set of log data. Now it's du, wn4azy underscore du, okay? So start that up. I can look at the title bar here and see which, which log file it's opening. Uh, I notice I still have a copy of my data in here. I want a new log, so I go to Tools. Uh, advanced uh, tools miscellaneous utilities and zap log delete all yes you know, I'm double making double sure now that you know I've got the copy here I mean I've, I've got the right database if I did delete the wrong thing if it's been on OneDrive for a while I, you can go back and 
uh, you know, they keep backups for your stuff. It's possible to recover it that way, okay? So I'm not going to go into that here. It's going to depend on which uh, service you're using. Okay, delete. Okay, there. Okay, so they're gone. I've got my um, empty log. I'm going to go to uh, tools and set up and station information. And my call sign is going to be slash du2 now, okay? I say, okay. Let me close and reopen this log form so it picks up the default operator. Or I can just exit out of the program and come back in. Okay, that one, that's the right one. I'm uh, going to add a new QSO, and you see I'm going to work. Uh, uh, okay. And I'm good to go on this other, uh, on, you know, on my new log. Okay, my test QSO is fine. I'm going to delete it. And I'm good to operate when I get there, okay? Notice that the uh, tools and setup and uh, station information is stored in the log data folder so that doesn't mess up this when i go let me close this here this doesn't mess up this tools set up and station information and there i've still got wn4azy there so i've got two to um, two different setups. They're both on one drive. This is still my my uh, just my regular shortcut. Go to properties. See, there's no data equal, so that's just going to use the default one. Um, you know, I can delete the shortcut so I don't accidentally do it, and I could you know say it's easy to put back, or uh, I could delete the data out, or I could just leave it. I'm just going to stick this one down out of the way somewhere, or I can just delete the shortcut, you know, um, and um, you know that way I don't accidentally use it. By the way, I can always run logic. The default way is by going to um, Program files x86 logic and logic.exe. See that just runs it with the default uh, with the default database. Oh, I cleaned that out already. That's right. So that my default database is empty. Okay. You can also run logic from the DOS command prompt, and that's a great way to do it if you're testing. Uh, UNC uniform naming convention setting it up over a LAN in fact let me go ahead and do that I'm gonna go ahead and set up on my LAN um, I'm just gonna take this uh, go to my OneDrive again I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go to um, server slash D. I'm uh, going to just, just going to throw this away. So I'm going to put the temp folder. I'm going to paste it uh, here. going to rename it to call it WN4AZY LAN, okay? Now, I could, you know, go here and could make a shortcut, you know, copy that and say the data equals and WN, uh, and it'd be server backslash backslash server D user temp backslash WN4AZY underscore LAN, or just if I just want to do a quick test, I run a DOS command prompt. The way I do that in Windows 10 is go here to CMD, and I guess you can't let me move the little viewport up. Maybe I should start shooting my videos at high def. I don't know. Okay, so command prompt. Okay, and that puts me uh, that puts me in the you know 
in my default user directory. I'm going to cd slant uh, program. And here's a trick a lot of people don't know. Uh, you can type in the first few letters of whatever you want want to fill in and hit the tab key. Okay, I want program files. That isn't it. I hit the tab key again. It's slash 86 slash logic. I'm just going to type log. Okay, there I go. Okay, now if I just type logic, it runs its default logic for me. Okay, but if I type um, logic data equals single quote slash server slash d slash temp slash uh, I'm going to purposely make a mistake here wn4azy underscore ln okay I'm going to misspell lan uh, it's telling me that the data that I requested has no log data there. It's giving me a warning for that. That was something we added uh, fairly recently. Uh, on version 9.1.33 is probably added uh, sometime this year in, 19, in 2018. And this is telling me, you know, what the uh, you know the, the data value that was sent to the program. Just it's a copy of what I taped I typed here. If I uh, and just going ahead and running logic anyway and using my regular old data. Okay, a shortcut will do the same thing. Let me go back here and uh, let me I'm just going to close the OneDrive. Okay, and I'm going to go out here and I'm just going to log data X. Okay, so I make a mistake there. Again, it's telling me it doesn't exist. Just going to run logic with the regular old data. We go fix this. Okay, there we go. And now it's good to go. Okay, but let's go back and use my LAN location and do it from the desktop. I press the up arrow to redo it. I type in LAN. And I don't need to get fancy with capitals uh, or anything. It just uh, DOS uh, when Windows ignores case. Okay, see, there I go. Now it has data equals. It's telling me it's in the LAN directory. Um, you know, there's a copy of my, you know, data that I brought over. So say that, uh, you know, I could tool that's advanced and uh, miscellaneous utilities and zap the log, I could empty it out. And then uh, someone else on that server computer or another computer somewhere on the LAN could also set up the same data location. Uh, this is real time, it's going over a LAN, so we could actually uh, have several users hitting the same database of logic at the same time, which we could not really do if we're using OneDrive. Okay, finally, one trick. I haven't actually tried this. I don't see why it won't work. Uh, is to rather than install logic at the default location, which is right here, we could install the whole thing to OneDrive. Okay, and that would give me the uh, advantage of backing up everything. Uh, the the when you do a backup, it backs up the log file and uh, your notes and addresses and uh, biographical information but it doesn't back up changes that you make to your reports or your data forms your log data forms that sort of thing uh, so what we recommend is just making a backup of the whole logic folder so every so often i can just copy that and you know paste it any place okay and there I've got a complete backup of everything uh, uh, logic-wise. So no matter what happens, as long as I have this, this folder, I can, uh, you know, recover back to exactly where I was. Um, from an update, I could also install from there if I have a copy of my license file. Even if I didn't have this, as long as I have a copy of my license file, I'm good to go. But the problem is right now is that the install location of Logic has already been established. So it's just going to reinstall there.
And it doesn't ask me where to install this time because that's already been established. So what I'm going to have to do is make a copy of my logic folder, uninstall it, and then install it again to change the install location. So we'll do that in another video. So hope uh, you have found this beneficial. You know how to set up an alternate database for logic. You know how to move the, d the data around so you get a, an automatic backup on one drive or another cloud service. And you also know how to set a shared database up on a LAN. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, post to the forum or uh, post a, a question or comment down below. Thank you very much.